To secure our sustainability goals, we need to greatly reduce the power consumption of our electronic devices. One way to realize ultra-low power electronics is through the development of magnetoresistive RAM, or MRAM. MRAM devices store information bits in magnetic tunnel junctions, which consist of two magnetic layers separated by an insulator. By controlling the magnetization direction of the free magnetic layer to be either equal or opposite to that of the fixed magnetic layer, the resistance of the junction can be controlled, thus providing a way to store a zero or a one. The most common type of modern MRAM is called the spin transfer torque magnetic RAM or STT RAM. When writing on these devices, spin currents are generated at the fixed layer of the junction and then flow to the free layer. The direction of the current determines the value being written. Today, a new and promising type of MRAM is being actively developed called the Spin Orbit Torque RAM or SOT RAM. In this type of memory, the right current flows through a heavy metal layer attached to the magnetic tunnel junction. Thanks to the spin hall effect, the right current generates a pure spin current that is sent to the free layer to perform the right operation. However, in a recent study, our team at Tokyo University of Science found an inherent problem with SOT RAMs that was overlooked in previous studies. When reading a value stored in an STT RAM memory cell, readout disturbance can occur if a relatively large current flows through the free layer, unintentionally flipping the stored value. Since the readout mechanisms in STT RAM and SOT RAM are identical, it was widely believed that readout disturbances would be the same. However, our team found that, in SOT RAMs, there is an additional source of disturbance during the read operation due to the spin currents induced by the spin hall effect. Fortunately, we also found a method to alleviate this problem. By making the read current flow in both directions through the heavy metal layer during the read operation, the spin currents generated via the spin hall effect cancel each other out. Eliminating this source of readout disturbance in SOT RAMs makes them more stable and thus reliable. We also investigated how the SOT RAMs' materials, dimensions, and array configuration affected the efficacy of the proposed method to eliminate readout disturbance. First, we examined the disturbances caused by materials with different easy axes of magnetization. We proved that our approach is indispensable for cancelling the unwanted spin currents and thus reducing readout disturbances. Secondly, we explored SOT RAM devices with different lengths to quantify how size affects the efficacy of our disturbance reduction strategy. These results serve as guidelines for the design of memory cells. Finally, we studied how the implementation of our approach would fare in the actual memory array structure of an integrated device. We quantified how asymmetries in the resistances of different current paths would affect our proposed method and examined how to mitigate this issue. MRAMs like SOT RAMs are fast, durable, and non-volatile, and solving their inherent challenges will pave the way to more sustainable technology. By adopting MRAM, it will be possible to realize normally off computing, systems that are off during standby and can be turned on instantly. This will lead to faster, more reliable, and more energy-efficient devices from consumer electronics to servers. We hope to collaborate with researchers and companies to improve magnetic memories further and develop sustainable technologies for future social innovations.